royal. It's as solid as those huge granite walls. He was climbing and he was doing things no one else had ever done. He was making first ascents that were sort of unimaginable. He made the first ascent of the north face of Half Dome, and that was the beginning of big wall climbing. The 10th year anniversary of the first ascent of Half Dome was 1967, and Royal surprised me by saying, let's go climb Half Dome together. Really? And he said, sure. I was the first woman to climb a grade six or to climb a, a big wall. I had a good leader. When we got to the top of Half Dome, a tourist took our camera and agreed to take a photo of us as we stood there. And Royal's favorite punchline when he did many, many talks around the nation was, when we looked at that picture, we said, we'd better get in the clothing business. And climbers did look this scruffy and awful. I mean, you were almost embarrassed to walk into the most casual of coffee shops with any one of them. They looked so bad. Climbers wore hand-me-downs or anything that they could find from army surplus. The company came to exist in the first place for the same reason that the clothing did. There was a need. And there was a void. In 1968, when we started the business, we were importing and distributing mountain climbing boots and shortly after that other hardware such as ropes and helmets and so forth. Eventually we got into clothing. But you know, what I learned from climbing in, in the sense of attitude and the sense of perseverance, I could apply directly to business. Risk is what it's all about. You know, it's what our lives have been about. It's what climbing is about. It's what business is about. Adventure is going into something without knowing what the outcome is going to be. At the time that we realized that we had a business, there was no outdoor industry at all. Climbers who were starting their businesses and were selling climbing equipment literally froze if they heard the word shirt, sweater, anything that was clothing. I mean, they didn't have a clue about clothes. I first met Royal when I was about 27 years old, 1995, and somehow talked uh, Royal into being his national sales manager. And what also drew me to the industry, you know, Royal and others at that time, the fathers of the industry, they really were trying to do conservation and give back. When the company started growing rather rapidly, it was very exciting and very fun. And uh, what it required from Royal and me was that we grew with the company. That was a challenge, but one that Royal particularly was very up for. In the summer of 2015, Liz called me when she asked if I wanted to come back in as CEO of the brand. I didn't think twice. The opportunity for this brand is just too great. It's almost 50 years old. They're one of the founders of the industry. He was one of the first to talk about clean climbing. He was one of the first in business then to talk about sustainability and conservation. That's a story that's going to come back. Royal Robbins has always been synonymous with function and style. We've hired a great group of product leaders with a keen understanding of where the brand has been and where we're going to take it. <laughs>